builders in Georgia are licensed by the state of Georgia after meeting extensive education, training, and testing standards. Licensed builders must meet annual continuing education requirements to maintain good standing and to ensure the homes not only respond to the market demands of the new homeowner, but protect the life, safety, and welfare of the occupants. Then, Building design and materials used in construction are tested and approved by engineers and scientists. These standards are then written into codes that are approved by state agencies and accepted by local municipalities as building codes. However, there is a new and divisive movement beginning to take place recently. Local elected officials who have no experience, no training, no understanding of what it takes to build a home under accepted codes are creating new extraneous requirements in new home construction that is driving up the cost of already expensive housing. These new local requirements have nothing to do with protecting the life, safety, or welfare of the occupants of a new home. These new local requirements are excluding a wide swath of hardworking Georgia citizens from being able to achieve the dream and privilege of owning a new home. In the case of Bryan County, those requirements are driving up the price of a new home by over $30,000. This is the same county that was the recipient of the largest economic development project in the state of Georgia. Georgia taxpayers from all over the state are helping provide the site and prepare the site for the eventual construction of an electric vehicle plant. However, because of Bryan County's additional rules for new home construction, many thousands of workers will not be able to live near their workplace because the price of meeting these unnecessary rules are driving the price of housing out of their reach. These workers will spend hundreds of extra hours commuting and thousands of dollars extra in fuel and car maintenance bills just to commute to work. As a prime example of how dysfunctional local design standards have become, one need look no further than Bryan County, where the county commission, led by Chairman Carter Enfinger, recently adopted prohibitions against the use of vinyl siding on residential homes, despite vinyl siding being approved as safe and effective cladding by the International Building Code and all Georgia building codes and being the most popular home cladding in the United States. Incredibly. Chairman Enfinger advocated this prohibition, which substantially increases the cost of home ownership in Bryan County, even though he himself recently purchased a home that is clad with vinyl siding. It's time we let the building code regulate and homeowners choose what plans and products comprise their houses in order to protect their freedom of choice and housing affordability. Please vote yes. Support House Bill 517.